Hello and welcome to episode 26 of our Hearts of Iron 3 Puppet Master series. Things haven't been going that well for us. Um, we talked to Stalingrad, which was good, briefly, but it triggered a bunch of the events for the Soviets which basically allowed them to counterattack in strength, and they've been pushing us back since then. In the last episode we actually managed to slow them down a lot, not quite stop them, but we did manage to re-launch... Well, we, we took Kiev, launched some counterattacks, inflicted a few losses on them, and basically yeah, just slowed them down. Most recently, our SS Panzer Corps has, or SS Panzer Army, I should say, have managed to reach the Black Sea and encircle a bunch of Soviet divisions there. So let's see how that turns out. So we've already kind of run into difficulty in that the Soviets have been able to essentially break our encirclement, we have re-encircled them, but now my SS troops are kind of heading south to try and close off this encirclement as quickly as we can. And yes, I am setting Obercommander Europe to aggressive, even though we are critically short on manpower. And I'm also setting them Berdyansk as a major objective, just because, as I said, I want to close this pocket as quickly as we can. And it looks like my troops are retreating away from the coast, but hopefully my attack southwards towards is it Mariupol will keep the encirclement closed, and hopefully no Soviet troops will escape out of here. Especially not that mechanized division, I want that one dead. And while we're doing that, I'll try and um, make things a bit more secure here, expand out, make it a bit more difficult for the Soviets to capture or break our encirclement again. Fourth is has taken a beating, but the Soviet divisions are in much worse shape. And see, yeah, we've won that. And we'll be able to hold the line there, although my divisions aren't in great shape. The Italians have moved south a province, uh, which is very nice. Uh, the attack there, we should win once the heavy armor division leaves, which will be very soon. That motorized division won't be able to stand against us. And yes, we've managed to encircle it again. Um, I'm going to move this Von Schell's division. I think I've been calling that guy Von Schnell the whole video series. His name's Von Schell. Whoops. I think Von Schnell's a better name for a Panzer Division commander, but... Okay. From now on, I'm going to call him Von Schell. Sitting him into the center to where my SS divisions were quite weak and sending another division towards the coast, where Kepler's division is under pretty serious attack. And the AI is pushing up very aggressively, which is very good. We've trapped, what, one, two, three, four, five, oh, a lot of Soviet divisions actually, probably about ten or so. Uh, which would be very good if we can complete this encirclement and get them all out of the game. Especially since I see a couple of mechanized divisions and an SS division, uh, not an SS, a guards division. Uh, my SS troops up here are not in any position to attack. Not even the 8th SS, which is even on the front lines. Okay, it looks for now that... Oh, no, the Soviets have retaken that province. But... Looks like we're going to re-retake it with the 7th SS. Hopefully. But my AI is continuing to tighten this little pocket. It's just kind of up to my SS here to hold it. And they might be able to. Won that battle there. Just going to rely on my AI to be able to finish them off. Fortunately, there's no ports into this little pocket, so the Soviets will run out of supplies quickly. I'm just going to move my SS troops south, just to kind of stiffen up the resistance along the front here. I really don't want to let these Soviet troops out of the pockets now that I've basically encircled them. Oh, and it looks like the Italians are under attack there, which isn't so great. Battle of Mariupol, we've managed to win that one. In another Battle of Mariupol, Soviets love just doing these wave attacks that prevent my troops any opportunities to recover their organization. 
And they do take heavy casualties doing this, but they do also wear my troops down quite rapidly. I we'll managed to defeat that guard's division in no time at all. Um, they probably run out of supplies, is what that means. Which also means that I'll be able to pull my northernmost SS troops back now. I'll leave them fighting just to try and wear the Soviets down in defensive battle and inflict more manpower losses on them. Because of course that's basically how I managed to beat the Soviets last time. Well, not beat them, but drive them back. So I'm still trying to cause as much manpower casualties as I can, and the game goes quicker if I don't pause it. And yes, the Austrians, you can have JU-387s. Um, yeah, I have got plenty of spy spear, but I don't really know what to do with them. Okay, just one little pocket of Soviet troops left. Oh, we still hold Kiev, that's very good. Soviet troops are still in the north of Poland, though. Okay, now, only one Soviet division left, and hopefully we'll defeat it quickly. Oh no, they've managed to... I think those Soviet divisions kind of broke out there. But we at least defeated that mechanized division. But yeah, it looks like four or five Soviet divisions managed to escape there. So not quite the uh, overwhelming victory I had hoped. But I still probably knocked out four or five Soviet divisions, so you'd have to assume 50,000 soldiers. Negative 321 manpower though. That is quite bad. Quite problematic. Um, so what should I do now? My SS troops really need to recover. Um, so if I could click on them, it would be very good. Yep, now just... there we go. Okay. Um, where shall I pull them? I kind of want to attack in the north a bit to drive the Soviets out of Poland. But... Alright, cool, we've done... Just thinking what to do here. Looks like we've started landing, or started fighting in Oman, which is nice. I should also mention that last episode we got a new puppet by the name of Yemen, which I'm sure will someday grow to be a very powerful ally for Nazi Germany. Soviets are 10% of the way to surrendering. So, been fighting for four years, got 10% of the way. By my count, that's only a lot of years to go. And I'll set over Commando Europe back to defensive. I don't want to take any more land power losses. And I need to find something to do with 69 industrial capacity. I don't really need more escort ships, but they will take up 72 industrial capacity. Let's go a little bit more. Just so we've got a bit using a bit more than we can, and we'll suck in a few convoys as well, because, well, why not? I'm not going to do, be able to do much useful with these. Underground resistance, that requires no manpower. I don't actually know what underground resistance does. Well, at the time I didn't know what it does, since then I've played around with it a bit and I have a good idea of what it does, but because it requires no manpower, I'm going to build a lot of it and use this as a learning experience for myself. Got all these divisions that I should add into my command. Are these all the Czechs and Italians and the like that were helping out with my encirclement? A few Swedes there. An Alpine division. Cool. So lots more troops. The thing is, because of my manpower shortages, I should probably be sending these back to their home countries, which probably actually have manpower. But I don't want to. Because those guys are just going to run out of troops, and then they'll be absolutely useless. I suppose at that point they'll return back to their home country. 
In Liberia, we still are not attacking you. We have plenty of troops in the region. And of course, we're not attacking Ethiopia or South Africa either. So I'm thinking I might send Oba Commander Africa to deal with... Actually, Oman's on my side as well. When did that happen? Okay, well, I've taken Oman and Yemen. I'll have to go back and see if Oman fell on the last episode or this one, because I really wasn't paying attention. But let's puppet Saudi Arabia. Join the common turn, which isn't ideal, but... I kind of expected everyone's joining the common turn at the moment because they're way more powerful than allies. And yep, Riyadh is the objective for Oberkommando Africa. And I'll send some of my African allies to deal with it as well. Yemen, Oman, Iraq, Egypt, Jordan, Israel, Palestine. And everybody else can just keep focusing on the Eastern Front. My SS troops are almost back up to strength. I just left them on the front line, which is a bit odd, but they've managed to recover. I think the Soviets aren't really that keen on attacking at the moment. Great Air Force keeps flicking in and out, which is good, gives me a manpower bonus more than anything. Obviously I keep taking aircraft losses, which keeps putting me under. Or well, actually, it's probably my V2s. And I build a V2 and it puts me over the limit, and then I blow that V2 up, and I go back under the limit. Okay, well, the Yugoslavs and Germans have managed to push into the Soviet Union there. Oh, we've recaptured Minsk. 313 manpower, so we're actually reducing our deficit in manpower at the moment. But we've almost done building new infantry and panzer divisions. Well, we're almost done with the infantry divisions at least. Almost done with building aircraft for Africa. And there's just a lot of convoys and escorts. Oh, we're almost under 200. Eighth Panzer Division shattered. And I've got some inefficient technologies here, so I might as well get rid of them. Getting pretty close to our next uh, level of technology. And we actually are doing... I actually think we are actually holding the Soviets here and possibly even pushing them back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they had more of northern Poland than that, and we have pushed out of Kiev. So, somehow, in the middle of winter 1945, the Soviets are actually losing ground. And we're slowly gaining manpower. I'm guessing because I've set my... Over Commander Europe to defensive. It's actually the my allies that are pushing forwards. And there's the 24th Panzer Division, which has shattered, and I'll set it to well prioritize it. Just because, well, as you can see, we're sending it straight back to the front. And I believe that was my last infantry division in the production queue just got built. Yep. Still a few more Panzer Divisions to go, but. Well, infantry is very useful in this kind of fight. Oh, and we've just lost a lot of manpower again. Back up to negative 320. How's the invasion of Saudi Arabia going? Okay, we've met. No, Saudi Arabia's pushed into Jordan. Well, we've pushed up from Yemen slightly, but we're not winning yet. Okay, I'm thinking I might use the SS to push up and capture Rostov and Don here, and hopefully we can circle a few Soviet divisions along the river line here, or really the ones that have crossed over the river line. Looks like most of my allies are doing the smart thing and leaving this pocket. Just there's a very narrow supply line there, it's got all the supplies have to come over the Crimean Peninsula, 
which isn't exactly an easy task, really. Infantry division shattered now. Could try a little encirclement around here, just get a few divisions. But I keep returning to the south here. My SS divisions are already in place. And capturing Rostov Nodon and linking up with those German troops around there would actually open up a second supply line to the troops south of Rostov Nodon. So actually, yeah, let's give it a go. Just move people forwards. Uh, for now, we'll just kind of find the SS divisions first. And I think we're going to just move into positions around Rostov Nodon and we'll focus on the encirclement later. We might as well go there. If we can capture that place and so um, that mountain division holds, which it doesn't look like it's going to do then we'll have a nice and easy encirclement with plenty of SS troops free to move around. But, as I said, I don't think that's going to happen. But at least we'll have plenty in position to hopefully complete the encirclement here. Problem is the AI is going to have to move up to secure my rear because I left about a two province gap between my rearward SS division and my forward AI division. We've managed to break the Soviet front, that wasn't difficult and didn't really expect it to be difficult. I mean, we don't need that to be an objective now, and instead, Batatsk is going to be our objective. 13th Panzer Division shattered. I have a feeling that's the second time that one has shattered. Okay, almost at Rostov Nadon. Any of those mountain troops have been forced back, so we'll have to take at least one more province to link up with my allies. But we can live with that, I think. Actually, it looks like the Swedes are pushing up to Rostov Nadon, which would be very handy. We'd only encircle a few divisions around Azov, but still, encircling a few divisions is better than encircling none at all. And just a few more technologies, and we're close enough that we could possibly start on our 1947 techs. Uh, just take a few more of these out. Not quite, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do the 1947 technologies. Or. There won't be very many of them, it's just fighters and bombers. And I think submarines. No, none of those. Oh, we'll leave it for a bit. A few more technologies, though, and we'll be well ahead. Okay, we're winning in Taganrog, but we've got to push into Rostov and the Don. And then head south. Yeah, we're going to win here easily. There's, well, it's now only a single Soviet division, infantry division, attacking two SS divisions. So they're not going to live very long, especially since it's now three SS divisions. And yep, they're out of the fight. We're attacking Rostov Nadon and going very well there against a pretty huge stack of Soviet troops. 
And the Soviets are actually launching a pretty effective counterattack on our supply lines there. And now we really have to do our 1947 technologies. So, industry, just education. Oh, and I suppose coal to oil in these ones. Um, I actually don't really need them. I've got plenty of resources. Mm, I could do them. It's just going to slow things down a little bit. But let's not bother. Oh, I've skipped these. Strategic rockets. Well, I am using a lot of those. Oh, and helicopters. Helicopters. There we go. Theories of 48, Land Doctrine, Mechanized Offensive, Tactical Command, um, that's it. Lots of Naval Doctrines, and by lots I mean all of them, well, all the ones that I've been researching. In here I don't think there'll be anything. Nope. Fighter, yep, lots in here. And we're well behind on navigation radar and air search radar. And let's not bother with the rocket intercepts, it's just something else to build. And then our bombers. Oh, large air search radar. Air detection night attack. Oh, well, we don't have any large bombers, so no, we don't need the large air search radar. Cattle ships, there won't be anything. Nope. Escorts, submarines? No, actually, there are 48s. Armour is all 48s or 46s, and I think infantry will be the same. Oh, I forgot rocket artillery ammunition. Um, nope, that's all good. 54 research projects on the go. Oh, the Marine Sturm Division has been destroyed. Okay, but we're moving into Rostov Nadon. We've won the battle there. So now it's time to try and head south and deal with them. Or deal with the Soviets. Keep them encircled. And unfortunately, the Soviets are actually pushing south quite aggressively. So I've now got to go at least two provinces. Well, no, we could do it with one. But in practical terms, probably two provinces to link up with my allies. I'm sending one south to attempt just a small encirclement of a couple of divisions there. But I'm going to send the rest of my troops around for a bigger encirclement, just to try and grab a few more. And actually, it looks like Azov might actually, the Soviets might beat me there. Okay, well at least we'll win the Battle of Targonrog, so we'll hold the line. But we were defeated in Azov. Actually, it's just occurred to me that it wasn't really the white, the Black Sea I was putting people against, it was the Sea of Azov. But, oh well. The Sea of Azov is basically part of the Black Sea anyway. Just like the Black Sea is basically part of the Mediterranean, the Mediterranean is basically part of the Atlantic Ocean. And the Atlantic Ocean is just part of the World Sea. So really we should stop being picky and just say I trapped them against the water. Okay, still a long way to go. Soviets are holding Azov in the bits immediately to south of Rostov and Nadon pretty strongly. But hopefully I'm going to find a way to smash south. I think it's just the river line is a bit hard for me to cross. Even though I've got plenty of engineers and plenty of firepower. I just have to head south to link up with my troops here. I'm still kind of looking at the short option going that should be easy. But for some reason we're sucking at getting through there. Or I could try following the river line. I would still have to do one river crossing. But that seems to be defended by our HQ division, so hopefully I can get into there pretty quickly. I'm just going to move all my SS troops forward, kind of. Oh, and the Soviets pull out of Azov just before we start attacking. So that could work out for us very well. Uh, 
And on the division we're trying to link up to there just shattered. And the 162nd just shattered. These manpower losses are obviously really starting to tell on my troops. So we're going to try and take a different route here again. Got a couple of divisions though, so hopefully they'll do the trick. And we're going to take a Zob soon, because the Soviets are looking like they're going to knock that division back again. In which case, we'll take a Zob and then have to keep moving south. There we go, we linked up with our troops briefly. And we can launch a bit of a spoiling attack here. And hopefully these guys are able to hold the line. No, the mountain division has been pushed back, which means Reinhardt's division is now under pretty strong attack. And I need to get something into Starum and Skaya, but I don't have any troops to head that way. And these guys are still trying to link up for a bigger encirclement. In retrospect, I think I probably should have just focused on the smaller encirclement. Just capture Rostov Nadon, head straight south, link up with the troops, surround a couple of Soviet divisions, and call it a day. Well, not a day, really, it's been about a month that I've been trying this campaign, and it, it's doing alright. The Greeks and the Swedes are coming up to support me. Another Panzer division just shattered. But it looks like we managed to cross the river again. And there's just a single mechanised division between us and the larger encirclement we've been trying for. And the Soviet counterattacks are getting weaker, so hopefully we'll be able to do something about that. Oh, the Soviets have retaken Minsk. Ah, they've pushed forward again, the Soviets that is. So, our larger encirclement is um, not going to work out. We're going to be one province short. And our SS troops have actually just been encircled. So, we've really got to head south now. And then try and pull these guys out again. I really hope this doesn't turn to another Stalingrad, when all my, well, my SS ran off ahead of my army and got encircled, and I lost a couple of divisions. Actually, I think I only lost one. I lost troops I couldn't replace anyway. And I definitely can't replace troops now. I don't have the manpower to build any new divisions. I think I'm basically stuck to, well, industrial capacity, convoys, escort ships, and partisans. But we're looking like we could possibly be able to break the Soviets here. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to hold Tug and Rog. And my AI is actually pushing back, and it looks like they're actually going to join up with my troops in Azov, which would get my troops out of the encirclement and we'll be able to start getting more supplies through. It also looks like my guys are going to be able to push in for the larger encirclements, and if we can do that, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12 Soviet divisions surrounded, if we can do it. I've also managed to capture one of their radar stations, which is very useful. I say that, but I never build them, just because I prefer soldiers to radar stations. Okay, getting a bit tense at the moment. There's a couple of gaps in my line. We have managed to, well, the... My AI troops have managed to link up with the SS in one place, and hopefully my SS are going to head south and link up with my allies in another. Oh, no, they've just been cut off. The Soviets moved into one of those gaps, but hopefully we will soon, once we win this defensive battle, cross the river and unencircle my troops. Well, they've actually just unencircled themselves by joining up with my allies. Students Division is under heavy attack and is probably going to have to retreat here. Well, I just ordered it to retreat anyway. 
So no encirclement as of yet, but... Oh, no, I've just managed to encircle a Soviet armoured division. And there's a big stack of Soviet troops that we're also about to encircle here once Kepler's division gets across the river, which they've just managed to do. We need to hold Khrushchevkaya, though. It's a gap in our lines, and the Soviets are moving towards it. And if they can hold it, or if they do grab it, it will... Oh, cool, we puppeted Saudi Arabia. One more puppet to add to my title screen for the next episode. And let's see... Mm, we're not going to see this time if I manage to finish off this pocket. Because, well, this episode's over. But we've done alright. we I'm pretty sure we did grab Oman this episode, and also Saudi Arabia. Both of which are pretty awesome. And we've managed to, well, complete one encirclement of the Soviet Union against the Sea of Azov. And we've almost finished a second one just south of Rostov Nardon. Uh, the Soviets are still pushing. We pushed back for a little while in the middle of winter somehow. Took Minsk. But they've retaken it since. So things are still on a bit of a knife edge. But the fact that we're knocking Soviet divisions out of the game is still promising. Even though... Negative 300 manpower, and my divisions are shattering, just not constantly, but all the time. All the time. Anyway, hopefully we can continue this encirclement trend and knock more Soviet divisions out, and then we can start a general push along the front again. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.